Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're gonna see about Firebase Cloud Messaging. So this topic was requested by one of, one of our subscriber. So uh, if you're new to my channel, so don't forget to you know visit all the other videos under the Angular or the Spring Boot segment. So without further ado, let us jump into this video. So in order to add uh, cloud messaging, so like if you would have seen in all of our uh, modern application, they'll be having push notifications to all other applications. Like even our websites are having a push notification now. So in order to allow the notifications, we should allow them. I mean, like we'll be having a pop-up which will ask us like whether you're allowing this notification that we have to allow or block. So if you allow, allowing a notification, so the notifications which you are sent, which are sent by your website admin will be populated onto your screen. So that's what we're gonna do for our application now. So um, here um, we'll be having a service worker. So which will be looking after the messages which are coming from the server, okay? So, um, so the, as a first step, we have to include the manifest file. So that will register the service worker with the center ID, okay? So let me go to application. So the application is running already. So this is our application. So if, if you look at the application, so that's running fine. So in our previous tutorial, we left it here. So then I'm just, uh, you know, taking it from here. So let me create a new manifest file. Okay. The manifest file manifest dot JSON. So the manifest file is going to have a parameter called GCM, Google Cloud Messaging sender id so the sender id you can find it from your uh, configuration so let me go to my configuration here so yeah this is our sender id just copy it and paste it here okay, that's good uh, we are good with the manifest file so we just have to include this manifest file inside our index.json index.html that I've included it. Okay, so I'm gonna create one more file, uh, which is nothing but the service worker. So which is responsible for the new messages, even when the application is closed. So that service worker will be working behind the screen to show you all the notifications. Okay, so let me create a service worker. Firebase messaging service worker dot js so this is gonna have an import script so that will be from a static so we're gonna import the libraries from g static Firebase JS slash the version zero slash Firebase app dot JS. So this is one library, and we also need the library for messaging. So just replace this app with messaging. Okay, so there you go. We're gonna use Firebase dot initialize app. So we're gonna pass the sender ID so that you can take it from the configuration. So I'm set sender ID. So I'm just passing it here. Okay. And we're gonna create a constant called message equal to Firebase dot message. Okay. So that's it. So our service worker and the manifest file is ready. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna update the 
assets folder inside our angular json with those two files which are added so now i'm going to create a file i mean like a service which will invoke this notifications the push notification i'm going to create a file messaging service ts okay so that's in service so injectable mm -hmm. export class Saving service a constructor i'm gonna use angular Firebase messaging that's gonna be angular fire actually it is messaging so let me change it in the import so that you will get it so it's gonna be messaging okay so i'm gonna change this messaging okay so with the use of this i'm going to request the user for the permission so request permission with the user name okay so this dot dot request token so so what basically we are doing is we are just going to get the token for that particular particular uh, browser so that we can show the notification so with use of this token okay so i'm going to take, take the token token i'm just going to display it on the console So if there is an error, so I'm gonna show the error. Okay. Console dot error. No permission. Okay. Error. That's it. I'm gonna subscribe. Sorry, yeah, should add subscribe. So that's it. So this messaging service is imported, like it's created. So we just have to import it inside our uh, module. So let me create, let me import messaging service and uh, Angular fly messaging model. So I'm just going to add it here in the declaration and I just put it inside the provider section. So the provider sections will have this. So I'm just saving it. It's going to the component. So let me have a reference from the constructor private message msg messaging service okay so once after everything is loaded this dot message msg dot request permission so let me pass my name and okay so that's just a temporary data i'm just passing to save it and let's go here there is an error open let me close this so let us see so let me say always as okay so if we reload so that should 
trigger the request permission so here it is uh, show notifications so whether you're allowing or not so that's coming from here so this request permission will call the service so the service is i think uh, this one so this will request for the token okay so now if i press an allow so we should get the token so here you go we are getting the token so this token is required for you i assume like as a server sender you should need this to send the notification so let me copy this okay so i just have a postman to test this so let me change test notification let me see just title okay so in order to test you have to use this url the firebase and you have to use your server key and uh, the authorization segment you have to pass it with key and then the authorization server uh, the server key. you can find it in your project okay so just click on send there you go so it is sending the message it seems like our application has some uh, thing hanging in between because I have already done this now, so that's why it is. So let me refresh, so it should show. Let me create a catch and then try. Control F5. Okay. So I think it already has. So let me send again. In, in the results, you can see it. So it is sending the message and it is all. It is really saying that there is a message sent to the uh, receiver. So here the service worker is running, but it's not showing the message. Let me clear the data. Clear and try again. So this so every time when you are you know clearing the catch or something so you'll be getting a new token so that token has to be updated here in order to send the message so there you go it is sending uh, something happening in our application so let me stop and run it because all the other steps are done fine so you just have to request the permission you need the token so if you get the token the service booker will be invoked and you will get a message okay let me see what's happening let us wait for some time let it compile and run So it's still compiling. So by that time, we'll check all the stuff. So we have created a manifest file so that has the center ID. So that is included inside our HTML file. And if you go to the Firebase service broker, so that is an initializing application. That's also done. There is nothing that is she in this because everything is fine and 
we also have the stuff here. If at all we are not getting anything, then we will check with we'll have something to debug. So that's why I just created this. Okay. So let's see. So it's compiled. So let's go here. So there you go. It's the same idea, I guess. Same token, I guess. Yep. So there you go. Yeah. That's sending the message. But it didn't receive. Can I get okay? Let's see. So let us pass the username instead of component. So let us So there you go, it's done. 